KFC um biscuits. It was KFC biscuits, and they gave us a honey glaze. I don't think there's anything in here. They gave us a honey, like a um, I think it was like a honey cinnamon, or it's like a cinnamon caramel glaze or something like that. And you drizzle it all over the KFC biscuits, and you eat it. And it was good from like eating the outside of it was good, but once you got to the inside, it was like fucking nasty. <laughs> it was basically a biscuit. Yeah, that donut chicken sandwich was disgusting. The freaking the cinnamon, the cinnamon, um, the cinnamon, um, fucking cinnamon biscuit thingy was disgusting. I got I got fat from freaking when COVID started and we were getting the stimulus or the CARES Act thingy like every month, like that 600 something dollars every month or not every every week. I was ordering takeout like a mofo. <laughs> I gained 50 pounds last year and I've been holding on to it. It's been like it's been going up and down. But for the most part, I've been staying around like 200 and 220 pounds. And I want to get rid of it because now it's really hard with those extra 50 pounds. It's really hard for me to skateboard and do other stuff that I used to do. And plus, I'm going bald, so I don't want to be no like freaking balding fat guy. I don't even know when I started balding. I don't know. I think I started balding. Um, Sometimes last sometime last year. It makes sense because when I had my afro, when I had my afro, like I'm going bald right here. It's all this right here. When I had my afro, this part right here, what this part stopped growing. So this part came out to like I think six inches. And then the sides right here on both sides came out to like eight inches. But the rest of my hair was twelve inches. And then the back was about eight inches. So I was like, why is it not like, why are these parts not growing no more? It was freaking weird. Yeah, you should invest in Dogecoin. If you guys are not in Dogecoin, please, you guys should go for it. But um, there was parts of my head that weren't growing anymore. And I started taking like biotin and stuff like that. And it wasn't doing anything. And then I became tired of my hair. because It was really hard for me to do VR and stuff with all that hair. And then I couldn't find anybody to braid my hair. So I got tired of it. So I, I cut I cut all my hair off. It was just it was just too much to, it was just too much to manage. So when I cut my hair off, then I realized like when I when I cut my hair off and I let it grow a little bit, then I realized, oh, I'm balding in the front. The front I'm balding and in the back. In the back I'm balding. So that's why my hair wasn't growing even. Like after a certain point. Like I'm pretty sure if I let it, if I let it, if I leave it alone and let it grow back, it's gonna grow, it's gonna get big again. But um, I'm gonna have that Vegeta, that Vegeta hairline. I can grow it out again like I had it before. It just I'll just have to keep trimming it. Cause I'm pretty sure after a certain point it's not gonna grow anymore. Like how it was last time. Cause the front the front is still growing, but it's just growing like really slow. It's growing really, really slow. So if I feel like if if I let my hair grow out grow out again, I just I can't cut it. I just cannot. I don't know why I'm here, actually. Oh, we gotta get. Yeah, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here, but at least we're we're, we're clear. I gotta get the other jewel and then do the jewel statue. The next time I let my hair grow out, if I do let it grow out, I'm just gonna let. I'm not gonna cut it. Or I might just stay with wigs. I might just buy an afro wig and just stay with that. And just stay with wigs. I don't mind wearing wigs. <laughs> if I want to look fly at the club or something. 
Because I did like my hair. I liked my hair, but it was just too much to maintain. And it was especially annoying when it came to stream. Yeah, I was supposed to stay up. It was a, it was very annoying when it came to streaming because before I stream, every time before I streamed, I think that was probably one of the main reasons why I didn't stream that much last year and the year before. Because before I before streaming, I would have to comb out my hair, which would take like half an hour to an hour, unless I didn't care, and I would just take the pick and just rip everything out. But now that I don't have hair, I can just I can just jump on stream. All I have to do is wash my face, brush my teeth, and then jump on stream. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to play with my hair for like half an hour. Yeah, the walking sound. What is up? The ghost score. What's good in the neighborhood? Welcome to the stream. I play a lot of Resident Evil games. And actually genuinely care about your well well being. I know people say that a lot, but I actually care. Well, welcome to the stream. I plan on doing every single Resident Evil game. I mean, we're gonna stop after Village. When Village comes out, I'm telling you guys now, I'm gonna be playing Village for like a week. Then after I'm done with Village, which not I won't really be done with Village, then we'll go back to trying to finish all of the Resident Evil games. Man, I'm way off. Literally just killing time, waiting for the seventh for RE Village. Yeah. And I'm gonna give away a copy of RE Village. Probably two, maybe two, maybe two. Minimum, probably just one. I'm gonna give away a copy of it on the day Village comes out. I would like to give it away for Steam. I really like, I am freaking monkey, epic monkey. I don't even know if you're still here, but it does, it does not seem worth it to buy that game for PS4. The game on PS4, it only runs on 40 frames, 40 frames on base PS4. If you have PS4 Pro, you can get 60 frames. But it probably still won't be that stable. Do not. But um, back to RE8 Village, or RE, I don't know why they call it RE Village. I mean, I know why, but why not just call it Resident Evil 8? Now, now it just, like the title, just doesn't feel like it's part of the thingy mobile. What do we do to enter the contest? I'm just gonna do the RE quiz. That won't wait way back. I'm just gonna do the RE quiz and whoever the top the top two or number one is gonna get the game. That messed up my pathing, so now I gotta run all the way back to get the jewel. Actually, I'm Papega. I could have just went through the bottom. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Did I put down the ladder? I don't even. I don't remember. So you better study. You better study some Resident Evil lore. Australia got it. There's some. Uh, there's some people on the East Coast or in the Resident Evil. I'm part of the Resident Evil Facebook. And there's a lot of people that have the game already. We had already. One, two, three, four, five, six, Biohazard in Village. Yeah, Cole Veronica, are you talking about like, like uh, lore, like what's canon? Yeah, Cole Veronica's Revelation 1. Shit. Let me just. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> but uh, Resident Evil, Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 is also canon. Okay, we do know where we're going. I can't wait to play Cold Veronica. If you study, if you study here, I'll give you a, I'll actually, the Resident Evil Wikipedia is very accurate. The Resident Evil Wikipedia is very accurate. I mean, there's a lot of stuff 
in the resume on Wikipedia that is like dubbed it. Like they surmised a lot of stuff. Because Resident Evil, like even though they give us stuff, there's a lot of stuff that is also left up to interpretation. So there's some stuff like you can't be wrong on. But um yeah, the Resident Evil Wikipedia, if you can if you can um cut through the fluffy stuff and through the, the dub it dubbed stuff or whatever ad libbed stuff and just get to the information that is really like you know, accurate and just real instead of the stuff that is made up then you will you will pass the test because project umbrella is an another good website for resident evil lore in project umbrella they also do a lot of like like ad lib or like dub or whatever improv for a lot of like they do a lot of assumptions and stuff because they, they try to fill in the blanks um, not going that way it's called biohazard in japan i think they there was a poll there was actually a poll i think like 20 something years ago or when the, before the red first resident Evil came out i think there was a poll where they had a lot of different names that they were going to name the Resident Evil franchise outside of Japan. And the one that won was Resident Evil. But um, it's not called Biohazard in, Japan, in America because there's a band named Biohazard and Capcom didn't want any copyright, any kind of like copyright infringement or whatever. You know what? I might just take this playthrough and just put it on YouTube. Because I'm actually doing pretty good. Besides, like, I ran back. I did not put the ladder down, did I? No, I didn't. So you might just take this. You might just download the stream and put it on YouTube. Put this one on YouTube. Because I'm mostly doing this for myself. Because when I was a kid, I did the entire series up to Resident Evil 7 and put it on YouTube a long ass time ago. So I don't care how botched this is, really. As long as it's there. Just doing this to my, for my younger self. Like if you look at my, if you look at my history on Twitch, I have videos that have been up on Twitch for like six, seven years. This way. Or my voice back then was so light. <laughs> I was so much more outgoing too back then. And I was talking about some random ass cringy shit like six, seven years ago when I started Twitch. <laughs> it was so freaking random. No, it's okay. Nobody cares. Oh, speaking of freaking um, embarrassing stuff, I mean, unrelated, but some dude. Some dude on my video, some dude commented on my my Spencer video. My Spencer video is getting a lot of attention. The video saying that I think, um, I think Spencer is related to the characters in Resident Evil Village. Some dude said, "This if this isn't a big brain theory, um, it's definitely a big forehead play or something like that." I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up like my phone dinged my phone dinged me at like 4 o'clock in the morning I woke up and I saw that I was like bruh <laughs> like I know I got a big forehead I know I got a big forehead so it doesn't bother me but it's freaking funny as hell well, I'm not insecure about my forehead. I used to be when I was a kid. I used to be freaking... Talk about my forehead. I'm about to beat the hell out of you. Like, I remember... I remember back in middle school, my friend, he took his um, he took his his hand and he kept, like, pushing on my forehead. He was like, can you shrink your... Make your forehead smaller? I was so mad. 
Oh wait, let's not forget this thing. That, <laughs> let's not forget to pick this up. Yeah, it doesn't bother me, but it's freaking funny as hell. My forehead, like, it protrudes. It comes out. It comes out a lot. I think my forehead goes out further than my nose. Or it might be on it might be on par with my nose. It looks freaking weird when I'm from the side. When I turn sideways, it looks freaking funny. Um, Alright, now we gotta go do the bomb stuff. We gotta do bomb stuff. Okay. So this one, since I'm downloading this from Twitch and putting it on YouTube, the quality is not going to be as good as the ones I recorded. So. What up? What's wrong with your computer? What's up with your computer? I think I'll hold on to my pistol a bit more. We don't need that. We don't need that. Um... We don't need that until we come back from the sewer. Yeah. Oh, you had, um, so wait a minute. All right, you telling me you put your computer together and then you just took your hard drive and just put it into your new computer and you didn't do anything? Yeah, that there's usually driver issues with that. And that's the one thing I hate about taking old parts and putting it into a, like a new build because you always have to wipe your you always have to wipe your hard drive all right good thing you got it sorted did you guys see my jake versus wesker video and you buy pre-built. I don't buy, I don't do pre-built. I'm, I'm gonna actually build a new computer because I need a second computer. I need a second computer for um, PC streaming, for streaming Resident Evil 8. I'm gonna be streaming 8 a lot, so I'm gonna try to get a sec, I mean, I'm not gonna try. I already have computer parts. Only thing I need is a motherboard, and I need a motherboard, I need an SSD, and I need a CPU and I can build another computer. I can put another computer together. Cause I just need it for streaming Red Zero 8 so I don't over, I don't stress out my, my Ryzen. Um, go on this one. Um, yeah, we're on this one. Yeah, pre builds I mean, building a building your own computer isn't for everybody. But also pre builds like pre builds right now are a really good deal because GPUs, GPUs are really expensive right now. So if you can find a pre build right now, you got yourself a really good deal. Just because GPUs are like triple the price. But typically, typically pre-builds are a waste of money because they cheap out on like the motherboard, the power supply, and they charge you a lot more. So if you were to build your own computer, you could have a, you can build a better computer with the extra money you would have saved. So that's how it goes. <clears throat> but if you can't be bothered, then yeah, just go pre-build. Now that reminds me, I was freaking scared. I was so scared. I think I built my first computer. Like my first gaming computer. I built my first gaming computer in 2017. I was so freaking scared. I was so freaking scared. Yeah, I'm getting to that. I was so freaking scared. Oh, <clears throat> 
I was so scared to build it. <clears throat> because I've never built a computer like that before. So what I did, like I bought all the parts I needed. I bought all the parts I needed, and then I went to YouTube and I, I found um, a YouTube channel called Bit Bitwick. I think that was his, that's his name on YouTube. I found him. I bought all the parts. I found him on YouTube, and I followed his tutorial on how to build the computer. And I was able to build my own computer. It took me like an hour because I was like, it was like putting a bomb. It was like no, it wasn't like putting a bomb together. It was like taking a bomb apart. Like I'm freaking sweating. I'm like, I'm so freaking scared. I'm going to break something. I'm, my hands are shaking. <laughs> I'm like so freaking scared. And because of that, it took me an hour to build the computer. But it worked. It, it worked. I built it and it worked. I put it, I put everything together. Like he said, and it worked. It worked perfect. I was like, oh my God, I did it. I was like, I was so scared I was going to sweat and then the sweat's going to drip onto the motherboard and break it. <laughs> but I built my own computer. I, I built my first, I built my first gaming computer for about, I think it was like $700. And then, um, like it didn't hold up very well. So it was an FX. It was an FX computer. It didn't hold up very well. So... Um, when I started working at a diner, I was doing a lot of um, an extra. I was doing a lot of extra hours and bussing tables and helping waitresses and waiters for extra money. And then I was able to build the computer that I use now. And before I put this one together, because this one was way more expensive than my previous one, so before I put this one together, I did more research on how durable computer parts are and stuff like that. And I pretty much found out that you don't have to be super, you don't have to be super gentle with the computer parts. Like certain parts you have to be really gentle with, of course, it's the CPU, the um, when you're putting in the graphics card. But other than that, like I was, I was over, I was like way too worried. So when I put this computer together, I, I put it together and like, I went from an hour, that's how long it took to build the other one. This one, this one that I put together now, that the one that I have now, it only took like 20 minutes to put together. Because I didn't, I really didn't care about how rough I was being. <laughs> I, just, I put it together so freaking quick. Are you fucking kidding me? Did you just redeem Resident Evil Zero? Yikes. I hate myself. <laughs> what is up, heart? Yikes. <laughs> Fucking oh. yikes. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I should I ban Resident Evil. I was thinking about putting place. Resident Evil Zero in my banned phrases. <laughs> I should have did it. Are you Chief Irons? I was thinking about yes, it today. That's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. But what I'm saying no is difference. that building a computer is not hard. I thought it was like going to be hard. It's actually really easy. It's really, really easy. Like, that's really easy. Daughter. Like, trust me. I was told to look after like, her. If I can build a computer, well, you can build a computer. Miserably. <laughs> just look at her. She was a true beauty. But oh my god, Her skin heart. nothing short of the pain. Got me playing the worst Resident Evil game. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like I hate all how small this covers. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain or by decapitating You know what, completely. Epic Monkey? If one day I get 25 subs, I'll make a Rebecca emote just for you. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. I've been pretty okay. But no longer. Please. I've been pretty okay. I've had my really ups like and downs. Now. 
Especially like um, a couple days ago, I had like had a mood swing, and this girl I met on VR chat, she was um she was very supportive. She helped me. She stayed with me. We, wa we watched Mortal Kombat. I mean, I paid for it. I paid for HBO Max so me and her can watch Mortal Kombat. And we were about to watch Godzilla, but then Godzilla they took it off freaking HBO Max. So I'm like, oh wow, like Godzilla is my favorite kaiju. And you take it off. Like, I had a chance to watch it. And I couldn't watch it. Like, the day I got HBO Max and decided to watch Mortal Kombat first. The day I couldn't watch my, um, freaking Godzilla. And that Mortal Kombat movie was fucking horrible. <laughs> I did not like that Mortal Kombat movie. That movie was so bad. It was so cringy. Why you know Pirate? Man. Too much work. I wanted to support it. I actually thought the Mortal Kombat movie would be really Wait. good, but um. Let me go. Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. Yeah, I'll do a Rebecca emo. You're safe now. Fuck that movie. That Mortal Kombat movie is so freaking cringy. Jesus Lord, have mercy. Leon, come in. Like the pacing is freaking the weird. The pacing is the too it's too fast. The corridor. Um Got it. it has too much fan service. I've never seen a movie with that much it has too much. There's too much fan service. My name's Claire. The dialogue What's is yours? kinda cringy. There's a lot of Sherry, unnecessary things that they do. It was, it's a weird, it's a they very both weird movie. The umbrella chemical plant near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right, but it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. Okay. Let's get the big first aid, spray. <laughs> There's nothing really to watch on HBO Max now. I might just cancel it. I don't I don't I don't watch a lot of stuff anyway. I only wanted to see Mortal Kombat and Godzilla, but they took it off. Now I'm not interested in watching any like TV shows or whatever. And I finally got a book club going, so I'm happy about that. We're reading um we're reading I Am Legend, so I'm excited about that. I gave I gave two of the people an audiobook version of it. Cause they don't have it. We're gonna see how that goes. Chief? Yeah, I got a book club. If you want to be in it, I finally got one going. I'm so happy. We're only doing we're we're only doing small books. We're only doing like books between like. 100 to 200 pages those books typically take like four four to eight hours to read we gotta go underground i am legend that one takes about or at least for me i am legend took about like or is going it seems like it's gonna take about like seven hours for me to read because i don't read that fast so what I do is just read a couple of, I time myself and I read like a couple pages within that time and then just calculate. I mean, I can power read too, which I just skip through a lot of fluff and just get to what's important. If, if I do that, then I can read I Am Legend and I can cut it down to like three hours. But I miss a lot of stuff. I miss a lot of fun stuff if I do that. Like jokes and stuff like that, which would be really good to talk about when it comes to talking about the book in the book club. I don't like to power read too much. The 
Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss books are really expensive. Those books are super expensive. Like, holy shit. I might have some sitting around. But books are really good for you. Books are like meditating. Books are really good. Why does she, why does she do that? The zombie is in front. Why are you aiming behind? Okay, now they're all gonna bite me. The books are like meditating. When you read, it exercises your mind. I mean, if your mind, your mind, if it's if it gets stronger, the stronger it gets, the easier it is for you to handle your emotions and stuff like that. And plus, you make your vocabulary stronger, better, faster. What's up, Jitsi? If I'm saying your name right, <laughs> what is up? Welcome back. Your books are great, so I'm really happy. I think next week we should do our. Next week, we're going to do our meetup for I Am Legend. And we're going to see how it goes. We're going to do it in VR chat. <laughs> it's going to be funny. We're going to do it in VR chat. So we're going to go to there's like this. There's an oh, my God. There's there's this apartment world in VR chat. You can't scare me that time. And we're gonna do the book club in the apartment <laughs> in VR chat. Or do the meetup there. Yeah, we're we're doing I am legend by I think Richard. It's by Richard Matheson. I like it. I mean, I don't, I don't like the way you want me to live stream it. That would actually be funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, I'll live stream it. I don't really have a, a good VR setup because there, there's a lot of VR games I want to stream. But the VR headset, the, the sound quality of the VR headset is freaking shit. And if I try to use my microphone, it's too far away for you guys to hear me. So I might have to buy I might have to buy Turtle Beaches or something. So I can I can wear those when I stream VR games. Cause I do I really want to play Walking Dead Saints and Sinners on stream. 